When using the transform widget, certain types of transformations are done in relation to a pivot point, also known as an anchor point. This anchor point is placed at the center of the image by default when you drag it into a composition. There's another way to resize this layer, which is represented by a blue selection bounding box with four control points. This frame is based on the layer's bounding box, which includes all of its pixels, including transparent ones, if any. If you click on the bottom right corner of this layer, you can resize it based on an anchor point in the opposite corner. While doing this, Autograph draws this temporary anchor point in the opposite corner. If you move the bottom left corner, this temporary anchor point will show up in the upper right corner, so the layer's anchor point will be temporarily ignored. While doing this, the layer loses its original aspect ratio, which is the ratio between its width and height. Click on the reset button again to go back to the original transform setting. There is a menu at the top of the viewer where you can define whether or not you want to maintain the original aspect ratio. By default, the uniform scaling option is turned off. Enabling uniform scaling will keep the original aspect ratio when you move one of the corners of this blue selection bounding box. You've seen that resizing is done with an anchor point located in the opposite corner, but you can switch to centered scaling mode so that the temporary anchor point is located at the center of the layer. You can use keyboard shortcuts to switch between these modes without having to go through the menus. Let's start by turning off uniform scaling and go back to corner scaling mode. Now resizing is done according to the opposite corner. Press the reset button to bring the basketball back to center. Now resizing isn't uniform, but by pressing the shift key, you can lock the current ratio. If you're working in corner scaling mode and want to keep the ratio, it's important to press the shift key before applying transformations. You can also release the shift key while resizing the layer, set a new ratio, and then press shift again to lock that ratio. The ability to lock and unlock the ratio while moving gives you a lot of flexibility. Just keep in mind that when using the corner scaling mode, you need to press the shift key before resizing the layer to keep the ratio. If you press the shift key after applying changes, you could end up with distortions that might be hard to detect. When in doubt, you also have the option to permanently enable uniform scaling. You can dynamically switch from corner scaling to center scaling by pressing the control or command key while applying transformations. If you look at the menu at the top of the viewer, you can see that the icon changes when you press the control key. After setting the default options, you can use the shift and control keys to dynamically switch from one mode to another. Take some time to get used to working with these different options. They'll allow you to work very quickly in the future. You can use both the transform widget and its various options, as well as the blue selection bounding box for resizing layers. Keep in mind that you can reverse the default options with the control and shift keys. The control key manages the temporary anchor point and the shift key is used to choose whether or not to keep the original aspect ratio. In this video, we went over how to use the blue selection bounding box, use the center and corner scaling modes, and enable or disable uniform scaling.